here we are at Repulse Dam. Uh, this is the result of several weeks of heavy rain here in southern Tasmania. Uh, as you can see here, the dam is well and truly overflowing. Uh, this is the same situation for most of the dams on the Derwent River power scheme. And I thought I'd come out and try and get some video of these. As you can see down here, there's also plenty of the uh, power station, uh, which you just see here. Uh, I believe it's a 40 megawatt power station longing at Repulse, and they've been running these flat out while the uh, while the water has been coming down from uh, Lake King William. Unfortunately for me, I have actually attempted to go up to Lake King William uh, earlier today, and I have turned around due to the amount of snow which was up there. There was quite a bit of snow, um, uh, getting to the point where I, I would need the snow chains. And not having those on the car, I decided discretion was the better part of Valor and turned around and came back. So what we'll do, we'll just pause here and I'll drive over to the other side of the dam and we'll get some photos a bit more close up. So here we are now on the other side of the dam. Uh, as you can see there is quite a flow of water going across there. Uh, it's cascading in a bit of an arc just over here. So if you're behind the dam there, you can probably walk through there, get a little bit damp of course, but that's no real drama. So there's a bit of you, you can just see the boil there from the uh, overflow. And if we look, look across there, that's where we were earlier at the power station. As you can see, it is quite a substantial dam. Uh, there's only one other major dam, sorry, I tell a lie, there's only two major dams uh, upstream of this one. One is the Katagania Dam, and then there was Lake King William with Clark Dam. Now, unfortunately, I didn't get there, as I mentioned earlier. So, this is my next stop. Just downstream of here, about one kilometre, um, there is another smaller dam, I think called Clooney. Um, all these dams have hydro stations on them. And just like this one, this is spilling. Unfortunately, I believe it's too far away to get any useful video there. Now, you can see looking downstream here, there's a lot of water flowing down. Um, and just behind the trees there is where uh, the bridge crosses the river, and that's how I got across earlier. Anyway, once again I'll be packing up here. Uh, the rain is starting to come down again. I don't think uh, the pole stand is going to stop flooding anytime soon. Okay, what we are viewing here is the Clooney Dam. This is only a couple of k's downstream of Repulse. Um, as you can see, I'm also zoomed in a long way here. Um, it's not possible to get down to Clooney Dam. There is a gate uh, just as you turn off to get down to it. So unfortunately I have to view from afar. Uh, as you can see, it's a bit different to the um, to the Repulse Dam, it just goes straight across the river, it's not an arch gravity dam like the Repulse Dam is there. Once again you can see there's a lot of water coming down there. Uh, this has a smaller generator because as you can tell it hasn't got a big drop to, uh, for the water to build up pressure to spin the turbines. And from here it goes downstream to Lake Meadowbank. 
and from then Lake Me Meadow Bank is the last dam in the system and it then flows out into the uh, Storm Storm Bay and out into the Southern Ocean and Tasman Sea rather. So that, that concludes my little trip around the dams for the day and hopefully you've enjoyed viewing these.